Hey guys, you may have seen recently that I got into collecting Pokemon cards and that's mostly because of the new set that was announced coming out in January called Prismatic Evolutions. And that set is featuring these beautiful full art illustration cards of Eevee and all of its evolutions. And I plan to get all of them, but my personal favorites are the Sylveon and Umbreon cards. Now, in the meantime, I've been researching some of the sets that have come out over the years and one of my favorites by far is Crown Zenith. Now the reason why I like this set so much is because of the Galarian Gallery cards, which are these beautiful full art illustration cards that can show up in the packs in addition to the base set. And more specifically, I'll be aiming to try to get some of the Golden V-Star cards featuring Dialga, Palkia, Arceus, and Giratina. And if I can just pull one of those today, I'll consider it a win. But whatever I don't pull, I'm going to buy them anyways from the marketplace to put in my vault x binder. But yeah, I'll show you what I have here today to open. So I have the shiny Zacian premium figure collection that comes with this really cool promo Zacian V card in addition to 11 crown Zenith packs. And then I also have the shiny Zamazenta premium figure collection also has a shiny Zamazenta promo card there and then on top of those I also have the elite trainer box of Crown Zenith featuring Lucario and I got each of these boxes for around $70 from the same seller on TCG player and they all seem to be sealed and legit so should be good there and then lastly I found these $20 tins at Target that sold out really fast. And each of these tins features one of the legendary bird trio in their Galarian form. And a promo card there. And then inside each of these tins are four Crown Zenith booster packs. So we have four, eight, 12 packs plus 10 in the ETB. So that's 22 plus another 22 from the premium figure collection so we're going to be opening 44 packs of crown zenith today so yeah this is going to be a fairly lengthy video but i'll try to cut out as much as possible here and there but yeah let's get right into it so i'm going to start with these tins first then we'll get into the etb and then we'll open up the premium figure collections last so let's start with articuno let's get the tin open here You just try to poke this part with scissors. There we go. Oops. All right, tin number one just pops off here. Okay. Here is the promo card. I'll sleeve this later. I'll just set it aside for now. And then here we have all of the packs. Okay. Let's get into it. Pack number one, Crown Zenith. Oh, let's show the first one there. So here is promo card. Set that there. And then I think the card trick for this is one, two, three, four to the front, with one of them being the energy. There we go. These up here. Then I'm not going to be saying the names of everything because I'll just make the video too long. my reverse hollow and double okay so the final card can just be a regular non-hollow card it looks like all right pack two okay got code here one, two, three, four. Fire energy. Oh, 
I see a little bit of a hollow there. What's it gonna be? Boom! Zerora VMAX. That looks amazing. Holy cow. And Zacian V Star, a double pack. Let me put these in sleeves real quick. Oh my gosh. And we just started. This is a good sign of things to come. We're already getting hits like this. All right. Let's get into pack three. These are just from a tin. That's crazy. Oops. Okay. Got code card. One, two, three, four, two, front. Psychic energy. Doesn't look like there's anything crazy here. Reverse hollow. Oh, we got the secret rare already in a tin. This is the only secret rare in the base set. Pikachu. Sick. Wow, I can't believe we already pulled this. Didn't even think we were going to pull it in the first place, but... From the very first tin, the Articuno tin. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, I am so happy to get that. Even though it's not worth that much, it's like one of the rarest cards in the set, so. Wow, I wonder if we can pull like two of those since we got so early. Okay. Code card. We got one, two, three, four. I don't know what to do with that V star. Is there still an energy here? Let's see. I know some of the packs have this, I think, to like make the weight different in the pack so you can't weigh them, maybe. Let me know if I'm wrong. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, there's probably gonna be energy at the very end. So I guess you gotta move five if one of those show up. If you wanna do the trick properly. This card is like dented. That's weird. Oh, we got a Gudra. I assume this is a Galarian Gallery card because it's one of the full art illustration cards. That looks sick. What? We got two of the secret rare Pikachus in the same tin? That is insane. No way. How many of these are we going to pull today if I already got two of them? Oh my god. I can't even see. Okay. <laughs> what is this? In the first four packs from one Articuno tin. Wow. Okay, so we got four... Wait, we got five hits because of this Gudra illustration rare. What a start. Amazing. Okay. We will put all those there for now. We're just going to be stacking all the rare cards at the top there. By the end of the video, it might be a little crazy. Okay, so now let's get into the second tin. With the Zapdos, we'll go Uno Dos Trace. This is so crazy. Okay. I'm so glad I picked to collect this set already. It might be cool to get a full Galarian Gallery 
master set of just the gallery cards. I don't know if I'd want to get the full entire set. I'll just throw this on the floor for now. Okay, so we got this Zapdos promo card. Looks pretty cool. I'll just set that gently aside here. I'll sleeve that up later. And then we got four more packs of Crown Zenith. Can how many secret rare Pikachus are we gonna pull? Oh my gosh. There's no way we get another in this tin, right? Oh jeez. Okay. So we got code card. One, two, three, four to the front. All right. Oh, make sure I'm not shining the light on them. Trekking shoes and regular Zero Aura. That's all right. I can't complain with what we've already opened so far. One, two, three, four. Dark energy. I'm seeing a bit of a hollow back there. What's it gonna be? Giratina V Star from the second tin. This is the number one most expensive card. Oh my god, let me put this in a sleeve real quick. Oh my gosh. Currently going for around $95 according to ArizonaTCG.com. No way. We already pulled it. The best card in the entire Crown Zenith set. Galarian Gallery, Giratina V-Star. This looks amazing. Holy cow. <laughs> I wonder... I don't want to be greedy, but what if we get two of them in this pull? I've already opened it so early. That is insane. But what I will be mostly going for is the Arceus now. But oh my gosh, I already got my money's worth from the tins. This is insane. Okay. <laughs> Pack three of the Zapdos tin. <laughs> All right, here is the code card. Wow. One, two, three, four. No matter what else I get from opening all these packs, I've already opened enough to be happy. This is crazy. Fire energy. Oh, sorry. I was shining the light badly. I need to pay attention to that. Okay. We got a tag there. Maybe I'll just keep that with the hollows. I don't know if that's that special or not. Okay, final pack of the Zapdos. This is so crazy. All right, one, two, three, four. Psychic energy. Zamazenta reverse hollow, pretty cool. Ooh, and we got a hollow fire energy. That looks pretty cool. All right. I guess I'll sleeve that. It's a full hollow.
All right, so that was the second tin there. Let's put the legendaries with the hollows as well. All right, so in that second tin, we got these three hits. Insane, another secret rare. And then the Giratina V-Star gold card. Oh my gosh. Trying to see how good the centering looks. Looks like maybe a little heavy on the right side. Might not be worth getting graded, but I can just put in my binder at least. Amazing. Okay. Now let's get into the final tin. The Moltres tin. I'm so glad I picked up these tins. Insane. Now, you do want to keep note, there are a lot of tins that probably had barely any good hits in them. So don't let this be a reflection of what you would get in the tins potentially. I think I just got extremely lucky. But I hope that you get some good hits too if you pick these up. Okay. So here is the Moltres promo card. Pretty cool. I love all the full illustration cards that they have been releasing. Got four more packs of Crown Zenith. All right. Pack one of the Moltres tin, let's go. Keep spoiling the first card there, guess it doesn't matter too much. One, two, three, four to the front. And Psychic Energy. Dragao Gay, one of my favorite Pokemon to use in whichever game that came out in. Forgot at this point. Sun and Moon, maybe? Or Sword and Shield. One, two, three, four. Steel. Most reverse hollow and another enamorous. I got one of those, I'll just throw that here now. And like I said, I'm already happy with what I've gotten, so even if we get no hits in this tin or barely any hits in the other stuff, I will not complain. Right, one, two, three, four. These cards seemed a little curved. I'm sitting in the tin. I guess that can happen sometimes. E trainer reverse hollow with a signature there. Pretty interesting. And Pangoro. This pile's getting a little crazy here. I'll move it to the side after this. There we go. One, two, three, four. I'm glad the Giratina wasn't in this one because it would have a little bit of a bend to it. 
Unless we pull another one right here. I don't think I see a gold card there. Ooh, we got another full art. I assume this is Galarian Gallery. Are all the full arts Galarian Galleries in this? I don't know if there's full arts in the base set. And Luxray. So we did get at least one good hit there in the Moltres tin. We already got two Secret Rare Pikachus in the Giratina. I still cannot get over that. That's so crazy. Okay, let's keep this Giratina front and center, maybe. Put it. Oh, I'll be opening up the box soon. Leave it there. All right, let's move all of these bolt cards. Let's set these over to the side here. Okay. All right, so next up, I will open up the ETB. So we'll get the promo Lucario card inside here. leave off then got the player's guide wait actually I think I've seen some youtubers show it has the like actual cards that can appear okay yeah so then here see the Pikachu has the S star there, so it's the only secret rare in the base set. And then all the GGs are the Galarian Gallery cards, okay. So then, just quickly look through all these. So then you can easily keep track of which ones you're missing. Uh, so here's our, a lot of the ones at the end here, all these legendaries and more popular, bigger Pokemon. Very cool. Got some of the trainer full arts. And then here are the four golden cards that we want to get all four of those. We already got Giratina, which is the most expensive one. There's the Palkia, Dialga, and then Arceus. All right, let's see if we can get the Arceus possibly. Take the packs out here carefully. Then careful the promo as well. Here's the Lucario V-Star promo card. I'll sleeve that later. The other promos. And dividers. Here is a code card for the ETB. Got all the energies. Coins. Or, oh, these are... Poison and Paralyze symbol markers, I believe. This little V-Star thingy. And dice. Yeah, and the sleeves. Oh, the back looks so cool with the gold there. Wow. Okay, so now we got 10 packs of Crown Zenith here. Now we have more space to work with now that we got the ETB out of the way. This right in the center. Giratina. All right, pack one 
of the ETB. Let's see what we can get. One, two, three, four. Okay, no hit there. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna make sure I'm holding them properly here. Agron vs. Hollow and Executor. Got the full art Mew. That looks amazing. Once again, this is why I love this set. All these full art illustrations look so cool in the Galarian Gallery and Lycanroc. Let's put that in a sleeve real quick. Amazing. Four to the front. Oh, we got a crazy looking card back there. <laughs> Let's go. What's it gonna be? Maybe a V star. Let's land it and boom! Hatterene V Max. I will take it. Very cool. Wow, I love how colorful it is with the hollow. Maybe I should keep these a little organized by what I pulled them from. So keep all the tin stuff together. Keep the Giratina somewhat in the middle. So keep all the ETB stuff here for now. One, two, three, four. Fighting. We got another crazy car. There's another V Max or something. Oh man. <laughs> Leafy on V Star, let's go. Another Galarian Gallery card. Oh my gosh. A double pack here with <laughs> Boom Glaceon V. Hell yeah. All right, in my phone, I forgot I need to plug in so it doesn't run out of battery. So I'm using it to record here. There we go. That would have been bad. 
All right. Should be good to go now. What an amazing pack. Leafeon V Star and Glaceon V Full Arts. That is so cool. Now this is one of the more expensive cards in addition to we want to get the Mewtwo V Star for the non gold. Glaceon V. Glaceon is another one of my favorite evolutions up there with Sylveon and Umbreon. Amazing. Flip this over. I'm getting better at opening the packs. One, two, three, four. Radiant Charizard, let's go! Another big hit. So cool. I love Shiny Charizard. And more specifically, Shiny Charizard X with the blue flames is sick. But I will take the Radiant Shiny Charizard and funny looking Snorlax. Wow. This may be one of the best days of my life. Getting all these huge hits that I wanted. One, two, three, four. Pile's getting big again. Let's go, Electrovire, Galarian Gallery. We're pulling so many of these and Hoopa Hollow. And no repeats other than the secret rare Pikachu. I'm sure, we'll get some more repeats by the end, though. Still a lot of packs to open. Just set all these aside here. All right. Two, three, four. Great ball verse hollow and scissor. Got two packs left for the ETB. Two, three, four. Let's go, Pikachu. And I believe this is one of the nine that you can put together to make like a full page in a binder. That's pretty cool. And Volcarona. Then last pack from the ETB.
Ranguru and Whale Lord. All right. Let's see here. To recap the ETB, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits, with probably this one being the best one. And happy to get Glaceon V. Very nice. Let's kind of keep those here. And now we will get into the premium figure collections. We've got 22 packs still left. We're halfway done with opening the packs. I'm really going to have to edit this down a lot. <laughs> All right, let's start. The shiny Zamazenta. We can shift some of these back. Have a little more space to work with. All right. There we go. Pop this top part off. Good. Zamazenta figure here. Little pin. And then got the really cool shiny promo card as well as that. Get a sleeve for this real quick. Then these sleeves don't look that good in my opinion, but it's okay. Let's set that aside. And let's get all the packs out here. 11 Crown Zenith packs. Let's go. to the front. You do fan. Nothing in there. Another no hit. That's three with no hits.
Okay, four dry. But that's okay. We already won today. Anything more is just bonus right now. There we go. Boom. It's one of the ones to match up with that Pikachu. Another gallery card. Very nice. Move this here for more space. We finally got a hit. Stack's getting big again. So we still got five more packs here. placeholder cards. Wow, so we've only gotten one hit so far out of all these packs. That's kind of crazy. Maybe we're saving up our karma for the final packs. Hopefully our Zacian box can be better. Yikes. Is it possible to only get one hit in an entire premium figure collection box?
Come on, give me something. Doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, I lied. Let's go. Another gallery card. All right, so we only got two hits in that entire 11 packs. That is crazy. But we did use up a lot of our luck in those tins already. All right, let's get into the final box. Shiny Zacian Premium Figure Collection. Pop this off the top. Got the Zacian figure here. Then we got pin. Then shiny promo card. Put this in a sleeve quick. And more of these sleeves. Final 11 packs, Crown Zenith. This down here. Oh, whoops. Yay, got a hit on the first pack. Oh, and another trainer signature card. That's a good sign. This one will be a better box, hopefully. Not hard to beat two hits like the last one. <laughs> Or to the front. Oh, upside down. Oh, I saw something a little crazy. You can see the border peeking through there. V Max. Oh, just regular V. I'll take it. We got the V Hatterene and the V Max. Very cool. We got, is that two for two? And hits. Whoa. 
Whoa. What? What happened here? These were cut terribly. What is... What is this? This is like a mega print error. I hope there's not like a super rare card included. <laughs> what is this? How rare is that? Alright. One, two, three, four to the front. This could be very bad. Okay. I'm scared. It actually be, would be cool to get a super rare card with a huge print error like that. Love disc. Molga. Oh, it's only the back side that's off? The fronts looked okay. What the heck? These ones. It's only messed up on the back. I should keep these aside just in case. I think like some people collect print air cards. Let's see, where were they? That. One, two, three, four, five. Are these five. Very weird. But they're all basic. Hopefully there's no more messed up like that. Oh no. I'm seeing some more. What? Are the rest of these packs going to be this messed up? Is there some sort of like quality error thing I can send a submission to to get some new packs? That's two packs are messed up now. What the heck? One, two, three, four, five. Another five that were messed up. I'm going to keep these more special in case I need to turn them in or something. I don't know. I hope five cards aren't messed up in each of these remaining packs. That's going to be crazy. I'm going to have to ask to speak to... Pokemon Company's manager. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, thank God these look normal. And we got a Galarian Gallery. Let's go. Boom, another new one. Lunatone and Hollow Kyogre. Very cool. I'll make up for the last two air packs. I was getting big again. Set that to the side. That's so weird. I've seen some people open air packs on YouTube before, but none that looked that bad. But maybe there's some that have been worse. I'd be curious to see. One, two, three, four. The placeholder card. Oh, did I do the trick wrong? Uh oh. There's no energy in this pack. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot of weird things are happening with this box here. 
It's not that I want the energies, but... These packs seem legit, right? I mean, the box was sealed too. It looked normal. One, two, three, four. Sino reverse. Looks like we got a V star V max or a regular V, I guess. V. Yeah, black border. Zama Zenta V. I can't remember. Oh, it was Zashim V star that got earlier. Okay. Can we get one more gold card? That would be crazy. least no more air packs it looks like your candy and hot two packs left Another Radiant Charizard, I'll take that. And give it to a friend. And final pack. We get some last pack magic, as they say. Super hidden. Might not be anything here. Verse Starly and Heliosk. All right. Still overall, very successful day. In that final 11 packs, we got five hits. So not too terrible, but nothing crazy here in these. And then there's those two weird air packs with one of the packs having no energy. So maybe three air packs. That was a little weird. Um, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. The five out of 11 there. And then 
let's just to sum everything up we'll stack it up so out of 44 packs let's count the hits here got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and twenty two hits so about fifty percent hit rate on the forty four packs with three of them being the Giratina and two secret rare Pikachus. That is crazy. So overall, I definitely would love to open up some more Crown Zenith if possible. I do have the Sam's Club Sea and Sky Pack ordered. It has 14 booster packs along with the Rayquaza and Kyogre promo cards. And I believe like a jumbo Rayquaza. So I will be opening that in a later video. But other than that, thank you all for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more card openings or whatever else I do. And we'll see you next time. Peace.